Hey everybody, John here. Welcome to the new course, How to Use a Synthesizer. So with this course, I kind of thought a few different ways how to go about it, and I basically came up with the idea that there's a lot of different synthesizers out there, both analog, both digital, and they basically use the fundamental principles the same. There's a lot of differences, yes, but I kind of wanted to show you guys the core way how to use them, what main components they all have, and then maybe later on I can go through some differences that some synths have, some that don't, what it is, and all that kind of stuff. So basically for this course, I'm going to be using Serum. Now you don't have to necessarily have Serum to learn the fundamentals. I'm just using Serum mainly because of the visual feedback that it has. There's a lot of synths that don't have the visual aspects, and it's a little bit harder to understand and grasp the concepts without having to see it. So with Serum, you'll be able to hear it through this, the whole course, through all the demonstrations, but you'll also be able to see it within the plugin here. And then on the right here, I have two different kind of uh, analyzers to see. On the bottom here, we have the oscilloscope, so you can see the waveforms. Uh, you'll, you'll see it in just a little bit. And then on the top here, I have a spectrum analyzer. And if you've ever seen any of these, basically this top one here for the spectrum analyzer is probably going to give you the most information and understanding of things. So on the left hand side here we have our keyboard just like we have right here and then we also have the number of frequency right so you can kind of see where along the spectrum that we're uh, where you're going to be seeing the lines and the harmonics and all that so as we get further in the course this will make much more sense once it uh once we get into the demonstration of it, if that is if you don't know what it is. I'm sure you've probably seen the oscilloscope with, uh, with the waveforms kind of bouncing up and down and all that. And that's helpful for certain types of things, but it, it's not as helpful as this one. That's why I included both of them here. So this, uh, this FL session is very simplistic. It's just got Serum here. It's routed to channel 2. And then I also have Citrus for a later demonstration, which we'll come to when the time comes. And a couple things just to keep in mind, learning sound, I feel in my personal opinion, the best way to go about it is diving into a synthesizer because you're gonna be building sound from the very core fundamentals of sound and then adding on top of it and you're gonna be listening to your creation as it becomes bigger and bigger and you're gonna know what knobs to twist and why to twist them and all that kind of stuff. You can read the books, which is great. You can do the courses, maybe at schools or places, and that's great too. But learning a synthesizer in and out really helped me personally understand sound and how it works and all that kind of stuff. So another thing to keep in mind about this course is it's not going to be a serum tutorial. I am using serum in this, but it's more so showing the fundamentals of synthesis so you can take this knowledge and you can apply it to any synth that's out there, whether it's digital, whether it's analog. So that's kind of the idea behind it. And that's why I mentioned earlier that serum is more of a visual synthesizer so you can see it. So it's a better way to learn than if you're just looking at knobs and kind of saying like, oh, I think that's what I hear. because. Even when I was going to school for sound, they always said, you know, you, you, you got to use your ears, which is true. You really do. It's all about sound at the end of the day. But if you have the option to see things, it can complement that. But the only downside is sometimes we can rely a little too much on visual feedback and then kind of neglect what we hear. So try to use the visual as almost a helper to what we, uh, what we hear. So that's kind of a broad aspect of what this course is going to be. Um, I've broken this down into many parts as I do for my other series to kind of focus on one certain topic at a time. So if you want to, you can follow it all the way from the beginning, all the way to the end. Or if this information is very, that if you already know this, then you can skip ahead to different sections that you might want to brush up on or learn or any of that kind of stuff. So last thing before we wrap this video up is diving into sound itself is a monumental task. There's very, very scientific equations to how everything works, what a sine wave is, the degrees of phase, the phase versus polarity. And I've basically cherry picked the important things that are going to be useful to you because it's great to know the speed of sound, but is that going to help you make a good synth patch? Probably not. It's cool knowledge, sure. But sometimes I feel like we can get bogged down in the minute details of things, which 
don't necessarily help us get to the destination where we're trying to go. So this course is designed to get the most fundamental stuff. And there, there are going to be some stuff where we have to dive in a little bit into scientific stuff to understand it, sure. But we're not going to go so in-depth that it's going to become boring. So that's kind of the idea behind it. I wanted to get the best parts and explain it in the easiest way possible. That's going to be the most effective for you to take take up any synth or even to hear any sound maybe out in the world or maybe in your head and say, oh, okay, I know what knobs to turn. I know how I can get really close to that type of sound. And then you'll start developing your ear. You'll hear your, uh, you'll hear synth patches and different songs and stuff. And you'll be like, okay, I know exactly how he's, how he made that. He has like three unison. It's a square wave. He's modulating the, the pitch a little bit. And there's a little bit of distortion and the filter is maybe like a low pass at like 24 dB. If that sounds weird to you, I promise to you, it, it won't sound weird at the end of this course if you make it all the way through. But that's the kind of concept behind this whole thing is that you're going to take the, the best, the juiciest meat or fruit, whatever you want to call that. I don't even know if that's the right analogy. But basically, you're going to take the best ideas and the most effective ideas of synthesis and kind of filter out the stuff that you don't really need. That's not to say that other stuff is not important. If you want to learn that, it's only going to help you. But for this course, we're going to focus on the main components and the main core things to help you get from a very, very beginner. Like if you've, if you've never seen a synthesizer like Serum before, or maybe you have, you're like, I don't know what this is, and you just live off presets, then this course is designed for you because it's going to take you from that very beginner level into probably, I would say, an intermediate getting ready for advanced synthesis and maybe at that point I'll make another course to kind of complement those students at that point but I really want to get you guys up to speed and demystify a lot of these weird knobs and what this stuff actually means so before this gets too long that's basically the core concept of this course and I hope you stick with it through the end I promise it's going to be fun it's not going to be boring and and scientific that you kind of fall asleep to it's actually going to be fun and we're going to put some of that knowledge to actual practical use later on so thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next part.